Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and we are back with more Hunter x Hunter. Uh, we are on episode 14, I've been advised to skip episode 13 because it's just a recap, which is pretty odd for me to have a recap uh, sort of 12 episodes in. Um, it's not really been that difficult to you know, follow the story. Um, certainly you don't feel the need to have a recap at this point. Um, maybe like... 30 episodes in because you know that's a lot of episodes um especially if it's a show that doesn't kind of have seasons it's kind of like one continuous thing as you know animes tend to be um so yeah but anyway we're skipping an episode so um we are out of the tower we saw last time they used a very ingenious way of getting through um the decision that we, they had to make they didn't have enough time to take the uh, long route but they would have to sacrifice two members to go on the short route. So they chose the long route, bashed down the wall, and they all end up making it with about a minute to spare. So, ingenious. But um, we're on to the next test, and it's going to be interesting to see what it is. So let's watch the episode. Enough chat, let's react. Who you hunt, and who hunts you? Oh, this box okay. Exactly 24 numbered cards. Playing a game of cat and mouse. That one of the numbered cards will correspond with your badge. <laughs> I was now, going to end up getting hunted by Hisoka. In the order you exited the tower. All right, which of you was first? Hisoka. You would not want to be the person who gets... Why is he shaking his head? I know he's pinhead and all, but why is he doing this? Yeah, the one person you really don't want to have hunting you is Hisoka. Hmm, nothing on the cards that I can see. He's still carrying that damn briefcase. I don't know what this is all about, but I know you gotta draw it like you mean it. Yeah. It'd be funny if he ended up getting hunted by Hisoka. Has everyone drawn? Very well. Now, if you would, please go ahead and remove the sticker. Oh, the sticker's on them. The number you see is your target. Ah. Uh, 44. That is Hisoka. So Gone's got to hunt Hisoka. This box has recorded the number that each of you drew. Ah. Each card was tallied and then stored in memory. So Who's Hisoka you hunting? You're free to dispose of the cards. It makes no difference at this point. The objective is to steal your target's ID badge. Ah. Uh. Good. So we don't have to kill each other then. The method is up to you. Procure the badge however you see yeah. it. <laughs> you can use force, you can use deadly force. You can take their badge easily. Yeah, that sure sounds like the fastest way to me. So that's how These are a nice group of guys. On, there's nothing to be scared of. Gather enough badges to collect six. So you can do it a couple of ways if you lose your badge. You can go after other people's badges. We'll clear the fourth phase of the hunter exam. It appears the battle has already begun. You're right. Everybody's already taken off their badges and tucked them away so they won't get stolen yet. All right, everyone. For the next two hours, you're all. I'd swallow mine. You like. But then Hisoka would probably end up dissecting my stomach, and that would be horrific, and I would die. Unless I killed him first, which is very unlikely. So, uh, hypothetically, if you happen to be my target, I mean, don't expect me to show you any mercy, okay? Well, of course not. If you happen to be my target, I would say the same thing to you. So people have to be eliminated as well from this. 
That's a good point. You don't want um, Kilowa or Karopika as hunting you because we know they're both very deadly. You're not my target, Leorio. Okay. Ready and. One nine nine. So you got you got the scared guy. Ahsoka. Wow, that's really that was sensual. You've got seriously bad luck. <laughs> oh, do you think so? So, who's number one nine? He's the guy who was scared. I'm not sure, I thought maybe you knew. Nope. He was like, "Well, we don't have to kill each other then." I would have memorized everybody's numbers. I'm beginning to get excited. It's all very. <laughs> I definitely can't get his badge in a head to head fight. What's he seen? It's an applicant. Oh. He's not hiding very well. And there's another one behind him. Is he hunting him? Oh, it's the the alky, totally the alcoholic with the purple nose. This is like a David Attenborough documentary. Oh, there goes an arrow. Is he going to interfere? Oh, he just noticed in time. That was close. A little too close, even. Even sounds like a drunk. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I don't go down that easy. He's got the shakes. He's got the vodka shakes. Oh, it was a poison dart. A poison arrow. You bastard. I coated the arrow with a fast-acting tranquilizer. Oh, okay. So you're not going to be able to walk much for about a week. <laughs> Don't worry, though. There's fresh water nearby, so you probably won't die. Hm. But I'll be taking this, of course. Later! Wow. Wow. He was able to hide his presence while he quietly stalked his prey. Yep. And his target sensed the shot being fired and was able to dodge it. Avoiding what would have been a serious injury. But still but got tranquilized. Either that or just had one too many. His arrow with poison. So that's how you hunt. Yeah. Did you not know how to hunt? If I'm gonna have any chance of stealing Hisoka's badge, that's the only way. I'm sorry, but has he just has he only just discovered how you do a stealth hunt? And he's applying for a hunter First, exam. I'll have to sneak up on him without being noticed. Does that seem a little bit counterintuitive to me? It. Okay. Well, everyone's got to sleep at some point, so maybe do it when he sleeps. Try to read his movements. He's trying to kill the baddies. Can't expect to catch a bird on my very first try. There! All right! <laughs> Catching a bird mid-flight? Accurately? What was I even thinking? Get a fish. <sighs> Be the bird. But if a bird can catch a fish while it's swimming. He's got inspiration. There it goes. So it's just about judging the movements. That's it. That's the key. That's how I can tell where my target's going to move. Yeah, but it's a bit different with Ahsoka. He doesn't exactly go after flies. 
He does whatever he wants. He's unpredictable. Oh, bad. I figured it out. I'm just gonna go for the target the moment it goes for its prey. But he doesn't know who his prey is. He doesn't know where he is. Huh. The kid's impressive. He actually mastered the art of the hunt. He could have taken him down at any point if he's hunting go. Like that will come back to bite you. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, firstly, if I was the guy hunting Gone, I wouldn't be wasting any time in letting him practice. You know, I'd be straight in there. He must have been watching him sleep because we saw him before go and went to sleep. So why is he not? Maybe he has. I don't know. But I would have been just taking the badge off going when he was sleeping, or trying to attack him, or doing something. You know, I've got a feeling his <clears throat> his patience is gonna come back to haunt him. Never mind Gone's lack of concentration. Was he wearing a beehive on his back or something? I couldn't tell. It looked like a beehive. Um, I mean, it's all well and good going trying to hunt or catch a, you know, a bird when it's trying to catch its prey, but a bird is predictable. You know when it's going to go for its prey, but with Hisoka, he's unpredictable, and you don't know when he's going to strike, you don't know what he's going to do next, so it's not that simple. Um, and again, I'm drawn back to the point whereby going watches... Um, the guy with the arrows hunt the guy with the purple nose and he's like oh so that's how you hunt what is that i mean isn't that what hunting is you chase your prey whether it be through stealth or sheer force and then you take them down via any method you can yeah it was a bit more um of an intelligent plan you know putting a tranquilizer in a you know, on, on a, an arrow. But still, to say, oh, that's how you hunt, seems very... I don't know whether it's poor writing, or just whether they, they don't understand what they've done there, but it just seems very odd. Um, so yeah, the fourth phase is underway. They've got an entire week to steal these badges, and it means that people definitely have to be eliminated because there's only so many badges to go around. Um, I'm really struggling to see how all four of the the people that we're following are going to be able to obtain the points needed. Um, I've got a feeling someone's got to drop, maybe, at some point. Um, you know, because they're all on their own, and I don't know. It just seems very unlikely, because I think the field has got to be at least cut in half. Um, and that's assuming that, you know, everyone gets enough points. By all means, no one could get enough points. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next episode.